you can create a choice board right within the Nearpod application. First, I'm going to go to the Create button and drop the arrow down to choose Lesson. When my lesson opens, I'm going to retitle it as Cell Choice Board. From here, I'm going to click the Add New button and it will open the window to give me the option of adding content or activities. I'm going to choose to add a new slide. You can see that the slide looks very similar to PowerPoint or Google Slides, and I will begin by adding my title. I can also change the background color by clicking on the background button and choosing either an image or a background color. I'm going to choose pale yellow for this option. Now it's time to begin putting in the choices on my choice board. First, I need to click in the paragraph window and add my first choice. I will resize the text box to fit into the area where I want to put my first option for the learners, and then I will click on the text box to continue adding choices to my choice board. Now that I've added my text, text labels, I want to go in and add some pictures to help guide my learner to know what will be in each choice. So I'm going to go up to my Images button and choose Add an Image. You can see the various options including Google Drive, Dropbox, and Cloud Options, but I'm going to choose my computer for this option. I've created a folder for my choice board graphics. So I'll begin with the cell interactive video graphic that I clipped and saved. I can resize my graphic and add it right underneath the label for interactive video. Now the primary difference between Google Slides or PowerPoint is going to be that when you choose to add a graphic, there is no option currently to link this to an outside source. So instead, I will have to choose my text to link it to the Nearpod activity of my choice. To begin linking the activities, I'm going to go to the second tab that I have open, which is another Nearpod, Nearpod option. I'm going to choose the folder where I have saved my lessons which is my NC Ties folder. Here is the interactive video. When I choose Student Paste, and I launch a new Student Paste lesson, I can click the link and go back to the choice board that I am creating. I've highlighted my text. I simply have to go to the link and paste in the link that I just copied. I'm going to choose Save, and now that part of my choice board is linked and ready for students to use. I will continue on with the rest of the activities to link up all the activities for my choice board. When you are linking your student paste activities, make sure that you notice how many days are remaining in the activity. This activity is good for 22 more days. If I would like to extend that, I can click the calendar and simply click the last day that I want that activity available to my students. Now I have my choice board designed, graphics inserted, and directions for my learners. Notice that I chose another image from a Google search from my image button. If you choose to add an image, like I did within the words, be aware that Immersive Reader will not read this image, so this might not be the best option for readers that need to use Immersive Reader as a support. Now I'm ready to save. Now I can choose to copy the link or add it to any of these forms in order to share it with my students or simply give them the code to enter this lesson at Student Paste. And now my students are ready to make choices and learn from their choice board that I created in Nearpod.